Hey there, this is Vanessa De Berlay from Affiliate Marketing Mastery, where we want to earn a learn to earn a passive income. All right, so in that process of building your business and building that passive income, you have to have an email marketing system in place. I've talked about it before. Um, I do have an email marketing playlist. If you're interested in that, there's lots of different emails I've been add or videos I've been adding in there. You can go ahead and click that list. Hopefully those will be helpful to you. But if you're still at the beginning and you're like, I don't even know where to begin. And why would I want active campaign when it costs money? It's there's a monthly fee when I can go to MailChimp for free. You can, and you're more than welcome to do that. But from my experience with being that brand new entrepreneur who wanted to make money online, I did not want to spend any money. That's how most of us are. We want to make free money and not have to spend anything. Now, when people tell you you spend no money, what they really mean is you don't have to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars, but you do have to pay money for different tools that you need to work your business. Just think about it. Um, if you started a auto shop, you can't fix people's cars without having the tools to fix them. And the more tools you have and the better tools you have, the bigger your business will be because you have more services that you can offer, right? Makes sense. So online businesses are the same way. You just have to make the choices of which tools that you want to use and you have to do some research. This one, Active Campaign, is an autoresponder and this is a tool that you will use to collect emails. And why do you need to collect emails? Because the selling happens. They fill it marketing, selling, or any other selling, e-commerce, or whatever you happen to be into, all happens in your email list. It doesn't happen by going out and spamming and throwing posts on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and saying, I found this wonderful shake that I've been using and I've lost weight and everyone's going to go, you're annoying. That's called spam. And that's not what they want to go to Facebook or Instagram or Twitter for. You are giving them something in exchange for their email. What do I mean by that? Um, you've been on the internet and somebody has said, oh, here's a checklist or a 30 day diet where you can lose um, 30 pounds in two months or whatever. And I'll give you the tips on how to do that. And you're like, yes, I want that list. And you give the email address, you get the list. That's called a lead magnet. I send my lead magnets out on a tool called ClickFunnels. Again, it's another tool that I need for my business to be able to send out those um, lead magnets. The, the link is below if you've never heard of it and you want to check it out. And then after they get their free item or the lead magnet, then they get added to my email list. And this is one place that you can add them as active campaign. What I love about active campaign is how user friendly it is. It walks you through step by step. Now, what happens is, see this where it says automations? You have an automated email list, a sequence of emails that go out. The minute they click that lead magnet, ClickFunnel sends them over to active campaign, they add them to a list and then emails start going out and you call your, um, let's say we're going to start a brand new list. You would just go right up here to the corner and it says create an automation. You can have as many emails on that automation as you want. You can have 300 of them on there and it could be running for two years. Um, it, it's amazing of um, the automation. This is where you put the work in to your passive income and later it pays off for you because all the work has been done. The foundation has been laid. All right, so what kind of list are you going to make? You can have different automated lists. Um, probably in the beginning, if you're just collecting emails, you want to have product interest target follow-up. Let's do that one there. We're going to put a little heart next to it. And then we're going to slide down to the bottom. You can pick any of these that are relevant to you. And then you're going to say continue. All right, so I created the automation. I called it automation one. And now we're just going to go in and edit the automation. Okay, so you want to name your automation. It might just be my first welcome automation. It has my five, like about five welcome emails that you want to start any list with. It could be um, the beginning of a new, maybe you have an, you've been doing this a while and you have a brand new product and you're bringing people in with a lead magnet that's, you just want to jump right in and say, hey, um, I'm so excited you're using this. So you, you kind of start a new automation, if that makes sense. So we're just going to call it automation one. And from here, 
I can add a, a way to start this automation and mine would be from the lead magnet. So that's how it got started. And when they start the automation, it goes right to a welcome email. This says uh, the email doesn't have a mailing address, it does have one, but for some reason it's not picking up on the one I put in there. Um, I have to go back and look at that, but we'll do that in a minute. After that, you're going to hit this little plus sign. What do I do next? Well, I want to wait two days and then I want to send the next email. Um, and then you go on and on and you can keep on adding the next step. Now, when you hit that plus sign, I can send another email. I can send a site message. I can set a notification email. I can do any different kinds of workflow options. I can say, wait again for a couple days. I could tell them to go to another action. Um, I could have a goal. Like if they bought the product, let's say they bought my shake, I could have them go off onto a whole different sequence of emails. And if they didn't buy, they'll stay where they're at. So each time you bring up that next plus sign, you have the option to say, okay, this is what I want to do next. This is where I want to take them. Now you might say, well, I'm brand new. This sounds really complicated. It does if you don't, if you're brand new and you've never done it before. So you you may just make a sequence that says, I'm going to wait two days and then I'm going to send the next email. I'm going to wait two days and send the next one. And you can keep it that simple. Once you start understanding and you start getting your sales and different things start to happen, you can go back and edit it and then start tracking and adding tags and adding actions and things like that. Another thing I really like about this is they have a report tab over here to the left. I'm not going to click it because it does take time to come up, but the report tab will actually, I put one in there for your, um, for the demo account here. Um, under your reports, it will actually track every action that happens. So if your readers open the email, it'll tell you how many people opened it. If they unsubscribed, it will tell you how many people did that. If they join the Facebook group that you asked them to join, it will tell you how many people joined it. And then you might send them to another list that says, well, this group likes Facebook groups. So I'm going to talk to them differently than I would to somebody over here that wants to buy a product and doesn't want anything to do with Facebook groups. Um, you might also have people in there that forward their emails a lot. So then you can pick up on that. So this tracks everything that your your customers will do um, another thing you can do with that tracking is that let's say they join a facebook group that you wanted them to join you can actually automatically add a tag so you're telling it oh add this tag when they do this action so in a nutshell that's how simple this is and everything is laid out for you so that you can see it happening um, i'm not going to like i said go into detail because i wanted to give you an idea of what it does um, if you're brand new you just want to go in and make some emails and keep it very simple but the neat thing is right here you have a choice of what email templates that you want to use you can play around some of these templates let's just go in and look at some here's a personal email you can also make your own template and then save it and keep using that same design if you would like and over here to the right you can add text block let's say you go in and you add an image and then under that you want to add some text you can't type add an image and then keep typing you have to go back in and add a new text block if that makes sense you can have a call to action video where, where you tell people if you click here it will take you directly to my facebook group you can add videos line breaks um, spacers so you have all of these different tools where you can go in and design and edit the emails to, to fit your needs. And then at the bottom of all the emails, you have your, um, just by default, you have your footer, you have the different social media platforms that you're on, you have your footer that will come up every time with your picture. And then over here, it always says, if you don't want to be here, just unsubscribe. You legally have to give them that option. So do not erase this, um, but that, that'll stay there. And you can also have um, your email address and all your information. So it'll be right there in the footer. You don't have to keep on adding that. And that's where you save your template. So when you open it up and use one of theirs, then you can save it as your own once you go in and edit it. All right, that's it for Active Campaign today. I just wanted to introduce it to you in a overview of what it can do and again go look at mailchimp it's free 
or look at this one. There's a link down there below um, if you want to check it out. I do believe there's a free trial period. It's either four, I think it's 14 days. Um, so you can go check it out. Do some research before you make these choices because um, you do want to pick the programs and the tools that are best fitted for you and for your business. Um, but my job is just to offer different ones to you so that you can see what's out there. And again, the links are below. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask in the comments. Thanks for coming by and I'll see you on the next video.